Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we continue on in our Dark Fog playthrough and we managed to hit some real great milestones I think in this game today you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Dyson Sphere program videos. But let's get right into it. Okay you guys so at this point I was kind of realizing that I've been having power issues, all right? So thought I would set up a little miniature factory just for our solar panels. So setting up iron here, gonna have to set up copper. We're gonna have to make computer chips to finally get some other power sources than just our thermal power plants. Because until we get like hydrogen fuel rods or something we can put into them the the coal that we've been burning just isn't going to be enough so setting up computer chips here for our solar panels get a nice full belt flowing there add a little bit of extra storage to our copper here and now we're moving lines around to set up, get our solar automated. Just like so. And there we go, guys. We got that automated. That's going to start moving for us. Thought I would grab this little fire ice vein over here. Because eventually we're going to use this to create our graphite. Or graphene. I think. Actually, graphene, not graphite. Bring this all the way over here. Got to keep the defenses up. Move them along. Put a little buffer in here on our ammunition. Just like that. Throw some power down. We're sitting happy. We got a few solar panels built up here. I'm gonna grab some of those. Head back home. Let's see what we can do here, guys. Grab some power for ourselves. Charge up a bit. So now I'm I really I want our solar ring. That's always, I've always used the solar ring as a great way for like early mid game kind of power. So we're setting that up. Got to make sure that we use our signal towers. Grab some foundations. And we're moving right along here, you guys. Set those guys up. See, our power still is just not it at all. It over. Add a couple extra signal towers here. Could make sure everything's connected. Just like so. Moving around the planet. Now, guys, at this point, I was like, all right, I think it's time to try and take out our first base and clear it. I am kind of hanging back here because I just don't know. I don't want to like accidentally get wiped out by these guys when they're attacking. And these rocket turrets were not doing as much as I thought they would be. And of course, the lack of power in our factory doesn't help with the energy required to shoot the, all these missiles. I really thought I could push right up and was able would be able to uh, take out this base right on the first try, but I'm kind of realizing at this point that maybe I did not have the infrastructure that I needed. I underestimated the power that they were going to throw at me for this Dark Fog base. That's okay. 
were optimistic. But they just never stopped coming. guys fire more fire more I was like, all right <clears throat> this probably isn't gonna work out the way I was hoping for add one of those the battle rages on Battle for our home world. Right here, I'm kind of just, I was checking my rockets. I was worried, I was like, this has been firing for a long time. Oh, I can like run out of ammo and just get absolutely swarmed here. I was trying to move up to get that signal tower built, but it just was not happening for me. At this point, I'm like, all right, yeah, this isn't going to work out. I got to back up here. Back to the drawing board. I just don't have the firepower, so I kind of delete that. I'm like, all right, let's move back here. See if we can get these guys to stop spawning on us for a second. going though had a few stragglers kind of moving in on our base that's all right so i kind of realized that's not going to work so we're going to need some more missile turrets so add a little group of them over here not sure how many made there 11 i think move the rockets over bring them in Power everything up. Pray to God that I'm going to have enough uh, factory p power on this planet to uh, do what we've been trying to do. So, round two with the meanies right here. Got one up a little bit closer. Got more signal tower or uh, more signal towers up. More rocket turrets. There's so many more rockets here already. Just from that little extra. No group of them that I put down and I actually got a signal tower within range to hit their base some of their buildings so we're just doing this we're actually making really good progress here no chance once I finally got one of these signal towers in range I just I had enough rocket turrets you guys and the more of their buildings that we take out, the less reinforcements they're going to send at us. Here, I'm like, come on, rockets. We got to push back a little bit. Stop spawning for a second. Check around. Add a couple more here. Take it out nice and easy, just like that. You guys, very good. I come back here and I just I started attacking this. And I didn't until I actually killed this main like base hub thing for the dark fog here. I didn't realize that my space hive threat was going up by attacking the nodes, the actual nodes. So I was like, oh no, I can't have that. So I end up going and completely stopping those guys from attacking the upper air 
Because I'm like, no, 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 I can't have the space five attacking me. These guys throwing everything they got at me. But it's not enough. Not enough, you guys. And I was like, all right, here we go. Another big wave coming at us. No chance, you guys, I'm telling you. Then, as I was waiting for kind of the ground forces to uh, get to me there, they all turn around. Just decide to leave me alone, which, you know what, I'm okay with that. Because we were able to take one of our bases here. Booyah. Alright. Now that we're happy with that. Moving back over here. And it's graphene time. With this fire ice, we're using the alternate recipe. Set this up. So get some storages, get some hydrogen storage, because our alternate recipe makes hydrogen and graphene at the same time. I set these all to go, and I was like, you know what? It's not a full belt. I'm going to extend this twice as long. So we just do that very simply. Just like so, add some more turrets, get some power going, reset up our storage. Just like that, you guys. Much more. Better flow coming out of there. Now I'm like, all right. I hadn't unlocked our interstellar logistics yet, guys, but I was that was the next thing that was on my mind. I was like, all right. Took one of these bases. We're sitting happy, but we really need... To be able to <clears throat> start automating stuff we need titanium silicone being brought home so right now i'm just kind of running around checking on things adding i think this is micro crystalline components right here because we need our microprocessors for our uh, bot, uh drone log logistics here Setting this up. I knew this wasn't going to be a great flow of them, you guys, but I just wanted to get at least a few starting to build for us. Just like so. Now we can start working towards... Oh, little attack here. No problem. And guys, when, when the two planets are kind of rotating and orbiting on the same side of the gas giant, when attacks come in, I actually get, like, the missile turrets from the other planet shoot the incoming wave, which is pretty cool. Like, the range on them is that far that they're able to shoot off of one planet all the way to the other planet, which I thought was super cool. So right now, I believe we're setting up... Pretty sure we're setting up sulfuric acid right now. We put a little uh, refined oil storage there just as backup. So once all my refined oil, if any gets through those those two uh, builds that are plastic and organic crystal, if they get through that, then the, the extra will just kind of go into the storage and then go and be used for our sulfuric acid. So that's going, which is great. And finally, we're going to need to build... Guys, I'm honestly not sure what these are called. But it's like the <clears throat> advanced steel, or whatever you, want, you would want to call it. There we go.
and back home. There's a lot of flying back and forth in this early game, you guys. Just until we get our logistics. That. And we're putting her down. There we go. Setting up rockets. Getting demand set up. Still struggling with power, you guys. Alright, let's get crude oil set up and... I'm like, setting up, I'm like, guys, we need power so bad. So right here, I'm just setting up a little extra coal. We're gonna throw it into... Some thermal power plants. Just try to catch up on the power here a little bit. Grab some more. Go. Signal tower, battlefield base, coverage, important. Grab some soil pile, and back to our other planet. To set up the other side of our logistics here, you guys. So, I'm gonna get start getting these guys flowing. High purity silicon flowing in there. Get titanium. Two lines of it flowing in there. Which is just going to start going and building and building and building and building. Which is great for us. Right here at this point I was like, alright, still need more power. Got all these solar panels. Let's throw them around on one of these poles just to try to get ourselves some more power here. Another attack taken out. Connect those guys up. Starting to catch up a little bit with this group of solar sails here. Thought I'd throw Battlefield Analysis Base right in the center. Help me build everything. Just like so. I was like, alright, now that I built this, I need to have at least a little protection, a little row of turrets around the outside, so that's what I'm setting up here. setting this up all right going home boom we have interstellar logistics so now i'm just like all right i gotta get my yellow cube support finally back up together get those guys flowing get titanium crystals being made faster if possible bring that guy over because we need them Those are moving. I was like, this is going to be, this is going way too slow. Add another one on here. Okay, you guys, that's where we're going to end the video today. We made some really good progress. We attacked the Dark Fog. We managed to clear one of their bases off of our planet, which is pretty sweet. We did draw a little bit of attention from the space hide, but that's no big deal. We can deal with it. But yeah, guys, this is great. We got logistics set up. We cleared a base and it's going really well. I'm optimistic for this game and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, drop a like. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, once again, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. But thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.